But some studies have found that children with ADHD have lower levels of B vitamins like B6, B12, and folate compared to healthy children. Um, so these deficiencies may be a factor in the development of ADHD and neurodevelopmental disease. Some studies suggest that lower levels of B vitamins are associated with more severe ADHD symptoms such as hyperactivity, impulsivity, mm -hmm. and inattention. And then other studies have even found that actually supplementing with B vitamins can actually improve ADHD symptoms. And it goes on and on. There's so many, of it's course, zinc, zinc's a player as well. This isn't just B vitamins, but they're really critical. And here's another one before we move on. The levels of B9, which is folate that Stace is referring to in B12, mm -hmm. in the ADHD group were significantly lower than those in the healthy group. <laughs> Welcome everyone to episode 151-151 of the Healthy Habit Podcast with Stacy Faulkner here representing Emerald Labs. I'm excited for this episode since we're talking back to school here, which started at the time of this recording about three, four weeks ago. But our topic today will set the stage for the fall in general as we approach the winter here in the tail end of 2024. This will apply to all these topics uh, that are coming up here, the seasons that are coming up rather. Uh, Stacy's worked in the natural health industry since 2000 and as national educator for Emerald Labs, she provides insight and understanding to those seeking information regarding better health through proper supplementation and self-care. Thanks, Stacy, for coming back on. Hey, thanks, Dan. Good to see you. You must enjoy it. I mean, you must. we must not do that bad of a job if you're, you're still coming on here. Thank you. Yeah, no kidding. We, <laughs> well, I enjoy our dialogue, you know. I appreciate we like, it. We like to nerd out together. That's right. And you keep us in the loop with a wonderful company here, Emerald Labs, all products formulated by Dr. Mark Stangler, fellow naturopath, who will be on here soon in a couple weeks here on the podcast. So I'll be letting everybody know as that approaches. So what's on your radar then as we uh, for students, you know, can apply to all eight levels of, of education, university, high school and younger. What's a good starting point to deal with all the stress and mental demand that's required coming out of the summer? Well, you know, coming out of the summer and back to school, I would say, um, just like you said, the, uh, the students and also the parents. So adults and teens, um, I think supplementation is really important if they're not getting the proper nutrition. Also, um, I think we should go ahead and talk about the um, the lead up, like B, how important B vitamins are because if B vitamins get depleted and we don't manufacture them and they're easily depleted as being water soluble, they're so necessary for so many basic fundamentals, uh, then we're gonna lead to adrenal support we're gonna to lead to lack of neurotransmitter support. So right there, we're looking at anxiety and we're looking at you know low level moods, depression. So we can also talk about uh, phytonutrients today instead of an alternative to like, um, you know, uh, pharmaceuticals or um, levels of anxiety and depression that we're starting to see, you know, a lot, uh, especially after the pandemic um, with uh, our youth, uh, the social phobias um, that are going on. Um, I think there's a lot of stress going on as well, Dehan, with um, the lack of education that they missed out on during the pandemic. So a lot of people are really behind. Um, and then also the, the parents having to deal with all the reparation or all the, the coming back into school, getting everybody, you know, together. And I think so in everybody's household, you know, talking to parents that are listening, everybody's household should at least have a really good um uh, com a B complex. So um, ML Labs offers to be healthy. We are very familiar with that. It's all eight essential B vitamins uh, with three of the non-essential, but um, choline and then also are super important. It's also got a healthy amount of biotin, but the choline working with the brain and also these B vitamins supporting the adrenals and um, working with the neurotransmitter production and assimilation, that's really going to help somebody kind of offset from, um, you know, highs and lows, you know, especially like with the diet and the competition that's going on out there. And so then, you know, we could kind of move into talking about adrenals, um, talk about the bees, talk about the adrenals, talk about maybe, um, like I said, the phytonutrients, rolling chamomile, like the cerebral comb and okay. afron, saffron, that's in the, um, you know, elevated mood. So some of these can be taken together or they could be kind of start with one, get your adrenals back up to support, okay. and then go, you know, go on your B vitamins and a healthy, you know, healthy diet. But uh, what do you think about all that as far as yeah. like that little premier setup there, that little 
I like that you mentioned the B vitamins right out of the gates because it's not yeah. just for energy support. You know, we need especially because we work with this is related to back to school and getting the brain ready for all the different exams and tests and memorization that's required and getting back into that routine because we use B vitamins for elderly as well. Stacey mm -hmm. in IV therapy for 70, 80 plus year old patients who they're starting to have the early signs of cognitive impairment. Right. So B vitamins are really useful in that. Uh, for brain health, for memory, for focus, for neurotransmitter production. So right. let's dive into the be healthy a little bit more. This is a classic, correct? This is one of the fan favorites at Emerald. This is a fan favorite. And I'm glad you mentioned those IVs because I actually do them for my do that myself. Good. Um, because of, it's unfortunate that we can't find any folate that is in, a, in an IV. It's only folic acid. But I have that MTHFR genetic variant right. that cannot convert folate and folic acid in the folate. But I'm still doing this because I feel cognitive. I'm, you know, I'm traveling so much, and I have these little blurbs and beeps, like you know, you can tell. And so I've really gone into getting these the B12 injections, and now this IV at a local hydration station that local here in Ocean Side. They're popping up in a lot of areas, and I, I, you guys obviously do that. But um, yeah, as far as the cog cognition for all of us, like I said earlier, the three vitamins are super important. So when we're looking at heart health, especially for women, homocysteine support, um, getting pregnant, staying pregnant, having a healthy pregnancy, um, brain development for the kids, keeping them healthy, keeping them you know on the highs and lows for ups and downs. Competition is a big B vitamin depleter. Uh, poor diet, alcohol, caffeine, but the competition is basically could be stress. It could be, the, you know, in the, all levels of school or like education as far as, uh, like you said, taking tests, studying for the test. But also what about social media and like the mean girls and the bully boys? Talking about kind of stress can really compound a kid. Um, and a lot of times they don't want to talk about it. So I think with parents always have the B vitamins on hand, keep them uh, plentiful uh, in the system. And also notice your child's, you know, moods and what's going on. Ask lots of questions because they may need an adrenal support. They may need something um, like a phytonutrient, like Roman chamomile, to calm the brain if they're too, if they're too manic, if they're too frenetic, or like an alkaline saffron. Um, and these are patented ingredients that Dr. Stangler uses. Um, Condition-specific formulas with Emerald Labs being added to free, um, gluten-free and non-GMO, super important. So these these formulas do what they say they're going to do. They're very result-driven. That Afron Saffron has been fully studied for um, uh, impending doom, feelings of impending doom, hmm. um, stress, perimenopausal women from the highs and lows of what they're going through, hormone change, um, super anxious, especially um, anxiety in the teenage boys, little little jumping beans, you know, the lack of eye contact, um, jumping from subject to subject, you know, so that Athlon Saffron is going to be really helpful for people with OCD. It's going to be helpful um, for everyone that's like improve the quality of sleep. Um, so, I mean, there's some really great formulas and what we're talking about right now, I'm kind of going through quickly. I get excited, mm -hmm. but people <laughs> need to know when I talk about phytonutrients, we're trying to just kind of offset the the need for perhaps pharmaceuticals like Prozac or Xanax or right. gluten or low for low the pro there's a lot of them out there these days and a lot of doctors will want you to take them together. So if we can look at phytonutrients, which Dr. Stangler's put together for the uh, formula the elevated mood just has the sensual ashwagandha and the afron saffron. And these are at therapeutic doses. Um, so there's opportunities for people to look into and go to ha healthy habits, talk to Stan, um, do the research on the website, because if somebody also has a lot of um, ruminating thoughts, you know, so they may be both stressed and anxious, but in a different way, different way of just so much overthinking and a lot of monkey chatter, as we call it, um, the cerebral calm would be really great for somebody. It's got the magnesium in there, which helps with GABA, right? It's got the GABA in there, which is the calming uh, neurotransmitter. Um, it's got um, the Roman chamomile and the patented l -Sandini. So what that's doing is really calming down that excitatory, the stimulating thoughts in the brain. So different levels for um, that was this, anxiety. That's the cerebral, cerebral calm? Cerebral calm, yep. Perfect. So, I'm, I'm making a little mm -hmm. backlog of things. We're going to go elevated mood and then the cerebral calm here in a moment. But I want to do yeah. a quick screen share here. Yeah. This is wild. I mean, it's I knew this, but it's good to see it on paper or on the screen rather. 
And yeah. before we move on from B vitamins, oh, you can see that um, I really like this AI feature, by the way, on Google. It's legitimate. They show the yeah. studies. They see this little, they have this little uh, icon oh, here that you yeah. can click to see where they're sourcing these things in their AI okay. searches now on Google. That's but some terrific. studies have found that children with ADHD have lower levels of B vitamins like B6, B12, and folate compared to healthy children. Um, so these deficiencies may be a factor in the development of ADHD and neurodevelopmental disease. Some studies suggest that lower levels of B vitamins are associated with more severe ADHD symptoms, such as hyperactivity, impulsivity, mm -hmm. and inattention. And then other studies have even found that actually supplementing with B vitamins can actually improve ADHD symptoms. And it goes on and on. There's so many, of it's course, zinc, zinc's a player as well. This isn't just B vitamins, but they're really critical. And here's another one before we move on. The levels of B9, which is folate that Stace is referring to in B12, mm -hmm in the ADHD group were significantly lower than those in the healthy group. So, and then we have the product that we were just discussing, like be healthy, which can start potentially helping. Any thoughts on that? I'm so happy that you pulled that up because it validates everything that we've been discussing. That's, right. And some yeah. people take the B complex just so we're granted, or there's a trend where everybody just wants to do a B12, right? These are eight right. essential B vitamins and they're essential for a reason, just like amino acids. So if our body doesn't manufacture you're going to have to get them through your nutrition. So lots of greens, lots of lentils, uh, et cetera, you know, or you're going to have to get it through supplementation or both. Okay. So supplementation is, is a pretty simple way. They do deplete really easily. Like we said, water soluble, but somebody can take the elevated mood or the cerebral calm at the same time with their B complex. You should be taking your B complex every single morning just to get your day going. And if you really have an issue, you can also supplement with additional neurotransmitters. So I also do that additionally because in THFR, it's super, you know, I have the worst genetic defect. And so it really affects a lot of, um, you know, highs and lows. And, and if you recognize it, and if you know this kind of stuff, I think right. that's when you can truly make a functional decision on what you're going to take to, you know, curb whatever's going on. And so neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, GABA, uh, acetylcholine, you can brain stack through the day with that, with your B vitamins, but you can take a mood or a cerebral calm with that or an adrenal with a cerebral calm if you need that. It's a completely different formula. The adrenal formula, for those who are listening, if you really feel like you're low in B vitamins and you're really stressed out, that's probably your adrenals are screwing out to you. And so supplement with an adrenal formula to start, get you back up to code, and then take your B vitamins. Or you can take one and one or adrenal and the complex like several hours right. apart get, get, get your get your feet on the floor with your dopamine in the morning and then your and your adrenal and then around coffee time or you know around prior to lunch you could do the complex it's always best to get it with food because with just these are therapeutic doses you can understand these are doctor formulated by dr mark stingler so he formulates these products for his patients with special needs these an uptick and what's going on, you know, around, around the, uh, around the clinic. Right. And, and I'm you sure mentioned, you see an uptick yeah. with your patients too, right? With what? You see like what's trending, like oh, something's yeah. going on. What are people eating? What's going on with the air? So, you know, I bet you see a right. lot of. Well, and we see everybody's dealing with some level of anxiety or stress or, uh, lack of focus now is a huge one, especially with social media and the shorts that are available now on YouTube shorts and the IG reels, which are now just quick, quick, quick segments, 30 seconds or less. Dopamine. And TikTok, of and course. So yeah. I'm just, for the record, I literally like four days ago, I uninstalled Twitter. I log, I uninstalled oh. Reddit. I logged out of Instagram because I wasn't using them to make content or anything like that. I completely got out and all this time opened up all of a sudden, Stacy. And I feel better mentally that I never thought it, I needed you clear, it. But you have a clear room. Well, because that's the whole dopamine thing, right? The dopamine fix that I'm getting from those, the fast right. scrolling. And also people don't understand. It's a drug. When, when it is a drug, it's very addicting. And when, especially the young people, when you're up so late, just stro scro scrolling yep. in, the, in the dark, right? And now they make up the little scrollers for your fingertips now. So you don't even have to hold your device. <laughs> you just scroll it with your fingertip. It's like a little ring uh, that goes around your knuckle. And, why am I, uh, I shouldn't be laughing. But, uh. I know. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. So it lowers your melatonin, right? So the blue light 
lowers your melatonin. Being up so late lowers your melatonin. Right. Also, we're looking at this dopamine stimulation, so we're lowering our dopamine as well. A hundred percent. Because then you're so fixated on it, and dopamine is what we strive to get. You know what I mean? Like you can expect right. dopamine. To and it too. and it eats away our most valuable thing in life, time. That's the big one. It's taking literally robbing now. us of time, and then that creates anxiety because you're oh wow, where did all the time go? Exactly. I didn't get to do what I wanted, what I actually needed to do, and now there's less time, and it's just this terrible cycle. So here you mentioned the saffron mm -hmm. afron extract, and yeah. here this product contains it, folks. Elevated mood. If you're taking notes here, folks, Emerald Labs contains elevated mood. It's a product which has the afron saffron extract in there so who's this for again you mentioned there's ashwagandha in here so the ashwagandha okay um this improves the mood um in healthy adults from the double blind stamp as test uh, for over four weeks but this is also great for your teenagers okay so studies were done for teens with anxiety um afron is great for depression and anxiety for the studies like i pointed out for perimenopausal women um afron's been shown to improve um sleep overall quality of sleep as well and this is in the therapeutic dose so the studies that were done are either two uh two capsules two doses of 14 milligrams or this is two capsules at four that gives is 28 so this people could take half of this dose if they wanted to okay so the studies show 28 milligrams um or two times a day so you could divide that up if, if you wanted to but um no side effects here this is considered a phytonutrient so we're just looking at really calming down um, excitatory stimulation that's going on, just like the cerebral calm can do. Or if somebody um, needs to get a little bit elevated with their mood, it can help with that as well. So the saffron, let me see. If you want to pull up an abstract, I have an abstract here. Let me put mm -hmm. my glasses on. I have an abstract. Let's see. So um, this was just uh, looking to uh, explore sources for alternative treatments for mood disorders. Um, and the potential candidate here was a saffron uh, from the crocus. It's a bioactive yeah. compound of the, the, the crocus and saffron is what highly expensive little threads of the crocus, the steaming that people cook with. So the, mm -hmm. goal, the goal, the objective was to investigate the efficacy of afron uh, for improving mood, stress, anxiety, and sleep quality. Okay, yep, they used 28 uh, milligrams. So the conclusion was uh, that it increased mood, it reduced anxiety, it managed stress without any side effects, offering a natural alternative to standard treatments. Mm -hmm. Right, this is one of the oldest herbs that we've been using in mankind. All of I love that. Botanicals, school. herbs, phytonutrients, so depression and mood disorders. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, so chamomile for anxiety as well, uh, reduced anxiety um, as a natural remedy, also helped with insomnia, anxiety, and digestive upsets. And you have chamomile as a product here or no? In the cerebral calm. Yeah, so not, it's not in the elevated mood, folks, but right, let's just, pivot. Mm -hmm. So yes. that one just has two ingredients. The elevated mood just has the saffron and the ashwagandha. This yep. cerebral calm has the patented Albion magnesium, which is highly absorbable. And then it's got the uh, GABA in there. We've got the sun theming, uh -huh. um, which is patented. And then the chamomile extract, which is the Roman chamomile. The apigenin is the kind of the, ap the active ingredient here. Uh -huh. um, and magnesium helps out with uh, GABA uptake, right? And increasing the, I believe, GABA. Because all of these guys are working really synergistically together. The L sun theanine, um, the, the sun theanine by um, the L theanine helps with the alpha, beta, delta, gamma rays, right, in the brain. Right. That helps with sleep as well and calming the brain without making you really groggy. Um, what else can I tell you guys on camomile? Without the drowsiness, you said without the next the day. That's big. That's what people important. don't want. That notice, there's sun no theanine. melatonin in this formula, folks. So right. we, have a, we have a blend of magnesiums. And whenever you see things like Albion, folks, and the sun theanine down there, and on the previous product, the elevated mood had the Afron version of mm -hmm. Saffron. These are just patented forms of these nutrients that have been studied and patented with the registered trademark logo on them, specific types of these nutrients, that yeah. which is actually should be rest assured on that because those are specific ones that have been studied and shown to be effective.
right? Yeah, Stacey? so they got clinical clinical studies on them. And then this chamomile was really um, also um, for anybody that's got generalized anxiety disorder, which is a chronic recurrent form of the disorder of uh, anxiety. Right. So there's a lot of people, right, being diagnosed, as you probably know, with GAD. Um, so we're looking at different alternative therapies. Yep. You see, for calming. Yeah. So all, yeah. So the chamomile therapy resulted in lower proportion of anxiety relapses. And um, yeah, calming, calming. And so I even... really love these products, and you can take these two together, the elevated mood and the cerebral column, and you can also include your B-complex or the adrenal or both. You can take all four of these. Yeah, even with sleep what's... support too, chamomile. So folks, sure. you can just Google chamomile anxiety scholar or chamomile kind of sleep scholar stress scholar. You can dive deep on oh, right all the away different... there it says generalized anxiety disorder there. Yep. Yeah, so that's so... going to be found in the cerebral calm formula here through emerald labs which is different from the elevated mood and then the b vitamins was the standalone as the b healthy as another option yes which we showed at the beginning the of this episode health. where yeah i was just saying yeah. that how how they're depleted in in children with adhd compared to normal healthy controls without any of those uh kind of inability to focus symptoms or difficulty paying attention in school that b vitamins can help with that as well so We've hit on a lot of good stuff here, Stacy. Yeah. What would you is so these can be taken during the day, right? Even the cerebral calm. This isn't a sedative. Right. No. I take the cerebral calm right when I wake up. Because I can't take my B complex right when I wake up. And I'm not a big morning eater. So I have to wait till I have a little something in my tummy. Cerebral calm is fine on an empty tummy. Okay. Elevated mood is fine on an empty tummy. If you need to hit the ground running with adrenal support, then our adrenal health uh, has does have eight eight of the B vitamins. It just does not have the B9, so the folate. So you definitely need to have a B complex. But what Dr. Stangler has added are five other adaptogens, five adaptogens. So B, B10, PABA is an adaptogen, okay? Um, uh, just um, what else is in there? Rhodiola, Leucococcus, or Siberian ginseng, and royal jelly, which is naturally rich in B vitamins. So I think especially, specifically five and six, so we're looking at your B vitamin support, which your adrenals are lacking. If that's why you feel you're very irritable, okay? Different than the monkey chatter for a cerebral calm. But then also um, uh, the five adaptogens. Some of you will really feel a difference within 15 to 30 minutes of kind of a, a feeling of kind of calming down because those uh, adrenals are being supported. Got the B vitamins that are supporting your neurotransmitter um, production. And so... I would definitely say if somebody has anxiety issues, um, at least stay on these products until the bottle is empty. Give yourself at least 30 days. It didn't take 30 days to, uh, you know, one month to kind of get these kind of disorders or these um, right. distresses going on, you know, this, this unease of what's going on. So give these supplements a chance and make sure you're, you're picking quality supplements that, like Dehan was saying, that have patented uh, registered trademark ingredients because they are science backed. They've got the clinical studies. They're going to do what they say they're going to do. And with Emerald Labs, knowing that you guys, um, knowing that they're doctor formulated by Dr. Stangler, very result driven, um, affordable, and again, added to free, gluten free, non GMO. And it's a very vegan driven line. So um, there's a lot of opportunities to um, have a vegan or vegetarian formula from Emerald Labs. And you were saying the adrenal health formula is the one that has the royal jelly in there yeah. or the bee pollen? Uh-huh. It, oh, it's not the Both. bee pollen. It's a royal jelly there collected from collected from the queen bee. So it's a vegetarian product, not a vegan. And then it's got a leucococcus or some people refer to it as Siberian ginseng, uh, um, essentials ashwagandha, um, uh, rhodiola, and then the B9, which is um, pala. So five adaptogens. And those adaptogens are pretty important because they're really working with your body and everybody's going to be different work, you know, adapt to different things. But um, the adaptogens are basically they're plant compounds that aid in the adaption of the physiology, physiological stresses that we all are, would be going through. So adrenal formula might work differently for you, Dayan, than it would for me. So every right. these adaptogens adapt to the body in a different way physiologically. So and yeah, again, five adaptogens. 
Right. And that's the adrenal health formula. Folks, come talk to Stan, the demo man here at Healthy Habit Health Foods. Once you enter the building, make a right and you'll see him in his his demo area there, Emerald Labs. He'll be giving you guys samples. He can show you what I mean, what you're looking for, what we talked about here today and start experiencing the benefits of those adaptogen combinations with rhodiola, eleuthero ashwagandha and then royal jelly. All of this is evidence based. And you can search. Yes. Oh, that's right. The PABA, that's right, paramino benzoic acid. And then, of course, a nice blend of the B vitamins in there with uh, B2 and much more B12 as methylcobalamin. There's no folate in this one, as Stacy mentioned, but we do have it in the B Healthy, which has yeah. the methyl tetrahydrofolate. So, and I think yeah, the whole thing, I think thing, if it's a takeaway from the show, whoever's listening, perfect right, timing. Or, or, if you're, or if you're in the, if you're in healthy habits, is we're trying to normalize our HPA access our hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenal axis, right? So when that's when the axis is off, we become imbalanced. And the B complex is going to be the first thing for you to start or the adrenal health. And if you're imbalanced, especially in the brain, neurotransmitters, because you're not getting enough B vitamins in. So everybody needs a support. So support with, um, you know, uh, support your neurotransmitter production with B vitamins, your adrenals with an adrenal health, support your brain neurotransmitters, um, and your brain health with an elevated mood and a cerebral calm. Um, there's really something that could really make a difference um, with balancing and normalizing that HPA access. And that wraps up another one here for episode 151 with the amazing Stacy Faulkner. Thank you, as always, for <laughs> never you, skipping a beat Thank and making you. the time for our talks. Where yes. can people find out more? About you or what's going on here at the company or just natural, fa- or sorry, well, emeraldlabs.com? Emeraldlabs.com. I would love for everybody to go to Instagram and like us and become, and follow us. Um, we're doing a lot more on Instagram. Um, we do a lot of shout outs and um, offer a lot of different fun on the Instagram page. We're also on Facebook. Uh, we're not on TikTok as of yet, but we're working on it. So there's different avenues where you guys can find more out about us. But Emerald Labs dot com expert voice for those who participate that work in stores can participate and get a lot of more information as well on that platform. see that's a good use of social media you're using it to educate and keep people informed of what's going right. on at emerald so thank you stacy for your time you're welcome. have a great rest of your weekend